Welcome, everyone. Um, we're here in David's studio in Taos, New Mexico. I'm Sherry. This is David A. LaFell. And uh, we're here to talk to you about learning. It's uh, something that we talk about quite often over the dinner table. And uh, there really is an art to learning. And we thought that since we have all of these other videos, telling you about painting and, and the whole understanding, we thought that the one thing that was missing was really a way to approach learning. And, uh, and so we thought that through talking about our experiences learning when we were students, that it would be valuable to you as well. So as David said, welcome to an action-packed video about learning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, as Sherry said, we have a lot of videos on more technical, philosophical aspects to help students, but really haven't done anything regarding learning. And so the, the prime question is, how do people learn? How does one learn? And I, I think a lot of people approach it that the teacher kind of puts a lot of information out on the table and the students try to remember and absorb it. And so... Well, uh, and also that the teacher is the authority. And the teacher is the authority and knows everything that the student needs to become, in this case, better, better painters. And there are a lot of teachers that actually want to intimidate you and certainly make you feel like they are the authority, but you know, it was one of the beautiful things when, uh, I suppose you all know that I was David's student, and one of the beautiful things about learning from David was that he, he never did that. He, um, I mean, even though he spoke with authority, you, you always encouraged the students to think for themselves and to actually try it out and to, to really try to understand what you were saying, not simply accept what you were saying. And, and that's certainly the way that I approached it and um, it, it made all the difference because the other way you feel somewhat powerless, but when, when you feel that you have as much power as the, the teacher, I mean, the teacher doesn't know everything. Yes. Most it, of the time. Yeah, except, <laughs> except in my case. <laughs> no, but yes, that's a good point that the sh students should feel that they can question what the teacher is saying if it doesn't make any sense to them. But, but even before that, I just want to say that, though we might touch on it later again, one of the most important aspects of learning is listening and being able to listen and putting your preconceptions aside, what you think you know, uh, so that you can just be almost a blank slate, a tabla rasa, and just try to listen and pay attention to what's behind the words as well as the words themselves. And because you want to find out if the teacher actually knows what he's saying or just repeating something by rote. Well, and that was actually something that uh, happened very er in, in an early lesson in your class. I remember listening to you talk about color, and uh, he was talking about some particular color and quality of a color. And I just remember thinking at the time how amazing it was that he was speaking from a point of view of understanding it, of knowing it, but not, it wasn't something you had been told and you were repeating. This was something that David knew, and, and I, that's what I thought was I mean, it, it just uh, opened my eyes, you know, the, the idea that there is some way to actually know this information, not just hear somebody say it, repeat it, but there's a way to really understand and know this information. And the understanding was really, for me, was always what I was after, you know, is that somehow to have the understanding because then...